Second day of Elevendus Code is here, so let's get to it. I will open the problem and it's Ridnose reports. So we have a puzzle input which consists of some reports, one report per line. Each report is a list of numbers that we call levels and those are separated by spaces. So this is the example input of the problem. The data consists of six reports with five levels each. Uh, so we have to figure out which reports are safe and the safeness is that the levels are either all increasing or decreasing. So that means that like uh, it's all, all decreasing or all increasing this way. And any two adjacent levels differ at least uh, by one or at most by three. So there's no big jump or no uh, like the same number uh, so sequentially. So this is not, um, this doesn't match the expectations. So you can see here that the first one is safe because it adheres to those rules, but the second is not safe because it, there is a big jump there. And this one is not safe because there is a big jump in here. And this one uh, is not increasing or decreasing. And this one has four, four by uh, each other. So that's also unsafe. And this one is safe because it's all increasing. So our goal is to calculate how many reports are safe, which seems quite uh, reasonable. So let's see, I will take the test data and I've improved the application that I used to run, uh, run each problem's solution. So now I have a separate application used uh, using Uno platform, which is a cross-platform application development framework, which I use now to run uh, the puzzles and actually verify solutions. So now I, uh, each problem will have a separate implementation that is automatically run by the application. So I will actually make a separate video to explain uh, what the runner does and it should hopefully be better than, than yesterday's uh, issues that I had. So now let's solve this problem. So from the input, I will uh, take those things line by line and I will have a method that will say something like is safe and I will get a um, list of numbers report and what I will do is to check if it's safe. So first thing is that I need to know whether it's increasing or decreasing. So I can take the first two uh, items and check their difference. So uh, report, okay, if, if the report uh, is, has less than two numbers, then in this case, I can say if it's, it's safe because it's always, uh, if it's just a single number, then there is nothing, it, it cannot prevent to these two rules basically. So it's all decreasing or increasing and there is the difference, there is no difference basically because there are no two numbers. So uh, if it's not the case, then we can take the first difference. It's going to be report uh, one minus report two, uh, report zero. So this is the difference between the two first numbers and we can take the, the sign of it. So so, gonna, uh, so there is no sign. So we can do, so if the difference uh, is zero, then we have two same numbers next to each other. So that's already incorrect. But if it's, oh, if it's not the case, then I can do uh, first, if divided by math ups first diff. So this way I get the signature. So either plus one or minus one uh, based on whether it's a negative number or positive number. So I basically divide the number that I get. It could be, for example, minus two by its absolute value. So I get minus one, for example, in this case, or 
I get uh, one. It's either minus one or one. So this way, I now have the difference, uh, the, 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 the direction in which the numbers are changing. And now I can go from uh, number one to report count uh, so to I less than report count uh, minus one. And I can just compare whether the difference to the next number has the same signature, the first thing. Uh, so let's call this one expected sign. And then we can check if the difference is actually less than uh, less than or greater than one or and less than three. So actually I can also check here and math Oops. Uh, if it's actually first diff if it's less than Or actually, or if it's greater than three, or greater than equal, right? It's uh, greater at most three. Okay, so it's greater than three. So this way, I can check if it's either zero or greater than three. Then it's invalid difference. So now we just check the difference again. So our diff so is going to be a report i minus report i plus one and I will be checking if the difference if diff equals zero or math math ups diff is greater than three then it's invalid otherwise we get the sign it's gonna be again divided and then we check if sign equals or not equals uh, first expected sign if it's different if the dif difference is uh, like the direction is different then we also say it's not safe and if everything passes then it has to be safe overall so this is validation of the safeness of the report and now we should be checking so and uh, one more thing here so if it's Less than yeah, so the, uh, we we have to stop on the pre last item because we're checking if it's uh, it's checking it against the next one. So we don't want to overflow the item. So now let's uh, actually read the inputs and count the safe report. So safe count, and then we oh, while uh, input reader read line async is line so why why we get some line from the input uh, then we check uh, then we parse the line so and report uh, yes that seems actually exactly what I would prefer to have and then we just check if the report is safe and we increase the safe count if it's safe. And then we finally return safe count to string. And then we actually are done, I think. So let's see if this works against the sample input. I have put it there. So let's run it. And we have day two, part one. And let's run it against the test data. And this didn't work in the first try. So let's see what happened there. So. Uh, just check if we are reading the input correctly. So we have numbers in the first report, yes. And now uh, we can check which condition we failed. Because the first report is safe based on the description. So we have to had to fail uh, the signature. Okay, so the signature is different. Oh. Because I, of course, I made a mistake here. So it should be uh, the we, we are comparing plus one minus i because I did one minus zero here. So it has to be 
the plus one minus i here because we are compare we have to uh, subtract the next one against the first one so now we should be okay but let's run it and the the number of safe reports is two which matches what we expect so let's now take the full input we'll save it here and let's see what happens if i run it against the input file so let's run it and 516 is our result so let's see what happens and that is correct okay so let's go to part two so the second part of the problem is uh, basically that we now can tolerate a single bad level in the report so it's we can ignore it so basically it means that now things that were not safe before can be safe by removing a single number from the line so if you remove three here then it's safe because it's one two four or five and here if we ignore one of those fours then again it's safe so yes so we can now ignore one of the numbers in the input which is actually which means that the problem is not that complicated i think it's gonna be uh, just about just about uh, adjusting a little bit for this new fact uh, the test data or actually not the test data but the actual data the lines are short so we can we can actually uh, make do this by trying all the options basically and if we we can try to ignore specific numbers each time and see if if they if it passes this way so what we can do is we can take we can take the report check if it's safe and if it's not safe we can try to ignore numbers so for uh, we can take the we take and take uh, take now each number from the report and then validate uh, well, actually else if report count is greater than one because if it's just a single number then uh, well it must be safe right so it doesn't matter yeah it's okay uh, if we now try to ignore a specific number we can create a new copy of the report without that number so uh, report copy uh, we can take a report to list and then just re remove at the specific number and if it if the report copy without that number is safe then we uh, increase the safe count and continue not break so basically we try all those possibilities oh we can actually we have to break here it's, it's actually breaking because we have to get out of those out of, out of that for cycle for loop so uh, we break once we find a safe one and we continue with the next line of the input but i think that's this is enough basically so let's uh, try to run this so we have part two we run it against the test data and we have four and that matches what we expect so let's test this against the actual test data so let's see 550 and that's too low oh right so we made a mistake there uh, okay so what could be the problem because uh, it's too low so we made a mistake somewhere so okay so we are checking if the report is safe by removing so we take the same input and we remove at a specific 
index. That seems reasonable. Oh, I trusted Copilot to do the right thing, but it didn't. So uh, it removed the last index, which like obviously is not enough if you're actually just removing the specific indi in the indices. So now 561, that should be much better. And we are done. So that was the right answer. And we have solved second day of Advent of Code. So thank you for joining this one uh, and stay tuned for the second video where ChatGPT will take on this problem. We'll see how it fares in this one. And I will see you in day three 